Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a top five drugstore slash affordable highlighters. So if you are a boy or girl out there who loves to glow, that loves highlights, then this video is definitely for you. And these are really great highlights and I think some of them are even better than a high-end highlight. These are just specific highlights that work personally for me. It doesn't mean that they might work for everyone or some of these might just might not work for you. So like I said, these are just what I think work for me the best and I would recommend trying out. So as always, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like the idea of this video and just keep watching. So I'm not gonna go in any particular order, I'm just gonna, just gonna start. The first one I'm going to talk about is a kind of cream based formula. So this is by Colourpop and it's their Super Shock Cheek and it's in the shade Flexitarian. Now don't mind mine, it's broken, so I do have to be quite careful with it. But this is just the most blinding highlight probably that I own like it's so wet and just it's incredible and I really love Colourpop formulas especially with their kind of creams like the eyeshadows they have really nice cream based eyeshadows as well and they're just really soft and I feel like because they're a cream they just really melt into the skin and that I feel makes it just look not natural but it just looks like it just is gonna sink into your skin really nice that's what I really love about the creams is that they don't look like a stripe or they don't look powdery or cakey or like a big chunk on your skin it's just gonna melt right in I am wearing flexitarian right now but I've got it underneath another highlight that I'm gonna show you later on because that's a loose powder one so underneath though it's given it the pop because it is underneath and the other highlight I've got on top is laid on top of there so yeah, flexitarian is that I thought that it wouldn't be good for my skin tone because I thought it would be too light for me, but it actually is. If you just blend it in and work it into your skin a bit more, then it just kind of sinks and it kind of adapts to your skin tone, which I find is really strange but really cool as well. Because I did get this from a recommendation of Kathleen Lights, and she's a lot fairer than I am, so I was a bit iffy if it was going to suit my skin tone or not. But it ended up working just fine. Also, the price of these Colourpop Super Shock cheeks, they're eight dollars. So if you're in the UK and it's pounds, it's just around the seven pound mark, which I think is really great. The next highlight, I feel like it's not going to be a surprise to anyone because I feel like everyone just loves this drugstore highlight, and it's the Maybelline Master Chrome, and it's in the shade Molten Gold. I've talked about this highlight on my channel so many times before. I've had it in favourites videos. I just use it all the time, and I love it. I just love this so much. It just blends so nicely onto the skin, and I feel like it's just the shade from the shade to the formula of it. It's just one of the best highlights period that I just own. I love it so much. The same in flex with Flexitarian in the fact that it just melts into the skin and it just looks really nice. It's not any chunky glitter, it's just a really nice sheen on the skin and I just love it. Also really love about this highlight as well is that it's a really buildable highlight in the fact that you can pile on so many layers of this and it's not going to look cakey, it's not going to look dry or anything, it's just going to still look like a really nice sheen on the skin and also it lasts forever on the skin. I'll put it on in the morning and I'll come back home and it'll still be on the skin and I think that's really good especially for a drugstore highlight but I feel like I don't need to talk about this that much because it's such a well-known and successful drugstore highlight that I feel like everyone already has this so if you don't definitely go get this. This I'm pretty sure is like 9 99 or around the £10 mark which I think is just great for what you get here. I think it is really comparable to high-end highlights the formula is incredible I just love this highlight so much it was either last month or the month before I did a whole video comparing this to a new L'Oreal one which if you saw that video didn't turn out the best for the L'Oreal one want to see this highlight in action I will leave a link to that video in the description box so you can go watch that after this this highlight is a highlight that I have loved for quite a few years now this is very well loved and I just really think this is great especially for the price of it so this is the collection gorgeous glow bronzing blot I don't think they have too many shades of this I think it is it's labeled as number two but I've never seen any other shades of this I might be wrong there might be a lot more shades but I have number two anyway and yeah, it does say it's a bronzing block, which you can completely use it for because there are a lot of deeper shades up here. But what I do love about this is that it can just suit so many different skin tones. Because if you, if I show you, you've got like the darker ones right up here, and then the more lighter ones, which which you can see that I use. And, and I personally think that this highlight is just one of the best for every day. Quite natural, but they are also quite buildable, so you can make a really intense highlight out of this. But 
Like I said, the main reason I love this is because you can use it as a bronzer from just concentrating on these shades up here. And then you have your highlight here and obviously these would work as a bronzer for my skin tone but I feel like if you have deeper skin then it's going to work as a highlight for you as well. So I do like the fact that it's one product, it can suit so many different skin tones so that's what I really do like about this product. And I'm pretty sure this is around the £4 mark, it's really really good. Okay, so moving on to the next one, the next one I thought was kind of a cheat because it's like a palette, it's like a two in one kind of thing. But the highlight in it is just so good that you have to get it just for the highlight. Colourpop Double Play Palette, I'm pretty sure it's called Double Play. It doesn't say it anywhere because I think repackaged everything and I think with the new one does say Double Play inside it but I got this kind of when they first released it so it's the old packaging so it doesn't say it on it. But this highlight is by far one of the best highlights that I own. It's so amazing. The reason I love this is because it's, obviously again, it's by Colourpop, it's gonna be super affordable anyway, but it's just, I love this because it is a completely different formula to Flexitarian, which I showed as the first highlight, because obviously that is more of a cream formula and it's more soft and just obviously creamy to the touch. This is obviously more bad it is that it's not, it doesn't look like a powder on the skin, it looks like a cream and it just sinks into the skin really, really nicely and I just love it. It's so, so metallic. I feel like this is a bit more on the kind of champagne goldy side to Flexitarian, which is a lot more, more of a kind of white highlight. Whereas this one I feel like is better if you like my skin tone or even a bit darker but I feel like they're kind of equally metallic. I just love them both because they have different formulas and I just I love this so much. It seriously is one of my favorite highlighters ever. I used to use this all the time. I just try obviously not to use the same thing all the time. This I don't know if this is a bronzer or a blush. I do like using that sometimes but I literally I keep this in my highlight drawer because when I think of this palette I don't think of the bronzer or the blush in the palette. I think of the highlight because it's just it's just one of the best and I really like these Colourpop palettes. They're really great to travel with as well. And this also lasts so long on the skin. I really love it, especially for a powder. Sometimes you think that, especially with times that may be more affordable highlights, you might think that they're not gonna last as long on the skin, especially if it's a powder. Sometimes it can just rub off or just not last as long. But this is gonna stay on your skin all day. Well, it stays on my skin anyway, but always, I always set my face anyway and if you wet this, it's just the most metallic thing you're going to get ever. It's just so nice. So the final highlight that I'm going to talk about today is actually one that I feel like nobody talks about. I've never seen anyone talk about these before, but they're just they're so good. So this is the one that I'm wearing on top of Flexitarian and it's, like I said before, it's a loose powder. So this is by the brand MUA, but it looks kind of like those Kylie Cosmetics like loose powder things that she has. And what I love about this is that obviously it's a powder, so a loose powder, so you think it's just gonna fly everywhere as soon as you open it, but it's got this kind of like a grinder thing on it. Like you can see that you just twist it and it like grinds the products out. So you can really control how much is coming out of the container and also how much you're gonna apply to your skin, which I think is really good. And especially for the price, I'm pretty sure these are around five pound, which is great because Obviously, I don't know how much is actually filled in this, but I'm assuming it's a lot. I've used this quite a lot and there's still loads in there. So let me tell you the shade of this. So this one is just in the shade gold. I'm pretty sure they have so many others. I know they have like a pinky one. I think they've got more of a champagne and maybe even a lighter one. So like I said, it's like a loose highlight, but it's so metallic and just so nice. Like I said, I'm wearing it on top of Flexitarian. So this is what you get with those two. I really love how the packaging is with the like grinder thing going on. I love that. The thing I will say about this is that I feel like it does last a lot longer and it does genuinely just look better on the skin if you do have like a cream or a liquid underneath it. So like I said, obviously I've got Flexitarian underneath today. It's made it a lot more metallic and it just, it stays on the skin longer. With a loose powder, especially if you're someone that sets the whole face, then a powder on top of a powder is not gonna like it won't stick as much if that makes sense so usually when i powder my face i just kind of do where i'm gonna apply my bronzer or my contour so i just do it here and then i leave the highlight area but 
So obviously that, the powder still might work and stay on top of that if you blend it in, but I personally just find that if you add a cream or a liquid underneath, then it lasts way longer. I just love this, and like I said, I feel like nobody talks about these, and I don't know why, because they're really good. Guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I do really enjoy doing these top five whatever, so I think I'm going to try and do these maybe once a month. Obviously, I've already done foundations, highlights I've now done, so I think I will carry on doing them as like a little series and just do them maybe once a month if you guys enjoy them. Also, please leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favourite drugstore slash affordable highlight is. I would love to know and I'd love to try it out as well. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Why can't I talk today? Which I think is great.